I'm going to show you how to use extensions for our data science unit. Uh, so extensions are used basically to improve the functionality of any sort of type. Okay, so for example, uh, in data science we're going to be manipulating a lot of uh, data which we need to import. Uh, so for example, if I had a um, data file called input.txt, um, and then when I import this, so this is a string, um, I'm going to need to find the extension and I'm going to need to find the file name. Okay, So what we can do is create an extension which will allow us to uh, separate those two items very easily. Uh, and this is uh, quite useful if you're doing repetitive tasks all the time. Uh, it's a good way to improve the functionality inside Swift uh, so that you can perform your tasks a little bit quicker. So uh, there's two things we're going to do. First, we want to get the file name from the string. And the second thing we do is get the file extension. Uh, that's just giving me an error because I didn't actually uh, declare what it was. Function, uh, create file name. And this needs to return a string because it's a string type, so it always needs to be a string. Uh, we're going to return the URL. Path, uh, and we're going to manipulate the self, deleting the path extension, and we're going to get the last section of that component. Okay, so this will find the file name for us, and then to get the extension, we do the same thing, create a function. So these are function names, you can call these whatever you like if this doesn't make sense for you. Uh, and then for this one, we're going to find the URL path again, but we're going to find the path extension. Okay, so from here, I could easily create some new variables. Uh, let file extension equal, and get my data file. And because that's a string, I now have my new functions available, which will allow me to find both of them. So then these are available for me to uh, create the URL so that I can import the file, which I'll show you in future videos. But for now, uh, this is how we can create an extension to manipulate those file types.